Hey everyone, Susie here from Adventurous Real Estate Investors. So today in Where in the World is Susie? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm here for the Invest Her conference this week. I'm super excited for it. And what's even cooler is that over the past year, I've been a part in an accountability group with Invest Her. And this is the first time that me and my pod mates are all meeting in person. We met, or I met some of them last night and I get to meet one more today and we're all staying together and it's been so fun. So if you can't tell how excited I am, that's how excited I am. <laughs> but if you haven't like heard of Invest Her, it's a really great community to be a part of. There are a lot of real estate communities and a lot of them are great, but I just love everything that this community has given me so far. But to get to the main point of why we are here today, I am going to talk to you about how working professionals achieve financial peace. And I do think this is super important because I was in a place where I was in a W-2, I had left it almost a year, but Michael's obviously still a working professional. And so even for us, like financial peace is super, super important. And because a lot of us work super hard at our jobs, you know, some are active duties, some are accountants, some are lawyers, some are IT specialists, the list goes on and on and on. So. It doesn't matter what you're doing, you are a working professional. What I've noticed is that like a lot of the common goals when it comes to growing in our careers and adding value to the world, like financial goals do come up often. And so that's why I think it's really important to talk about. But with that, like not everyone can just jump into the world of real estate investing full time because some people really do love the job that they do. And some people have special skills and talents that make them so valuable in their position, but they should stay there. Like they do a lot of greatness for this world, but there are ways outside of your job that you can find that financial peace. And so that is something I definitely want to talk with you today. But before I jump into that a little bit, like I want you to kind of think about while I'm talking about this, like what are your goals for financial peace or just in general and how far off are you? When do you know when you're successful? When do you know when you've like hit that peak? Is there a salary objective? Is there a monthly income objective? Like, or is it a time freedom objective? Like you want to cut your hours back? Do you want to spend more time with your family? Do you want to spend more time with yourself? All of them need to be a little more clear when it comes down to figuring out your financial goals so that you can see or understand how the power of real estate really can help you get there and achieve all of those at the same time. So let's start off though with like, what is financial peace? So when you hear this term, you may think of like some random TikTok or YouTube seller like quitting their job and has a bunch of followers now because they knit hats for cats, whatever it is, <laughs> right? But that's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is having the option to do what you want. And it's because of the passive income that has the potential to replace your earned income. That's the super important part is that since you've done all this work for your money, now how can you get your money to work for you? And having that option to do what you want in life is just super, super powerful. So whether that's volunteering, like I'm doing now, right? Like that's what I love. I'm volunteering at the investor conference for three days and it's gonna be a blast. Like I wanna do more volunteering. And so I'm happy I can be able to do that. For other people, it's serving in this church. For other people, it's traveling the world or it's picking up a new hobby, learning a new language, whatever that is, it's that you have the choice. And that's the most important part. Like all the options are limitless. It does not only mean just to quit your job, right? It's to do all the things. And it just means that money is no longer like in a survival mode for you, right? Like you've gotten to a place where like that box is checked and now you can focus on the things in life that are super, super important to you. So how can working professionals achieve this piece, right? I'm sure you're really wondering. So you don't have to like be born into money it's something that you can take control of and start now. It doesn't matter if you're 21, 18, or 70. Like you have the opportunity during any age to be able to become financially free. Like all you have to do is establish what your ideal living expenses are and put together a plan to generate passive income from investments to cover those expenses. Just take some time, write out that list and figure out like 
what is the minimum amount of money that I need every single month in order to reach this, like one step, right? In order to reach exactly what I'm doing right now. There are different levels, obviously, like if you wanna go above and beyond, just kind of guess. If you were to travel, like what would that cost be? And just add it to the month so that you can figure out how much passive income you need month by month. And the next level of peace, once you hit that level where your expenses are being covered happens, when your passive income replaces your earned income. So like while you're still working and still investing or figuring out ways to grow your money or have your money work for you while you're working for your money, once you get to a place where now your whole income has been replaced, it's phenomenal. It's a really, really great feeling. But so how, what assets can you invest in? So you can invest in real estate, you can invest in equities and you can invest in businesses, which is fantastic. So that's just a few, but of course, my favorite is real estate. <laughs> and I'm just very fond of real estate tool as a wealth creation. It's something that I find phenomenal. It's something that anyone can do. And that's why I believe that everyone should have real estate in their portfolio. And that's something that I would love to talk to you about if you have more interest or whatever. But this is a great way on how working professionals can create financial peace. So I hope you all have a great day. Day. And if you like this video, please smash the like button below and make sure to ring that bell so that you don't miss out on videos that we make. So I hope you have a great day, everyone. Until next time, explore more adventure awaits. Woo!